JHK here for the All Star, and join me right now is UFC strawweight contender Mackenzie Dern. She is sitting at number four in the rankings. Mackenzie, did you feel like when you started your journey back from pregnancy that you'd be sitting in this position so quickly? Um, yeah, I like I knew I'd be come back. You know, I I definitely know I'd come back fast. Uh, that was the goal from the beginning. I mean, that's why. I mean, I'm not saying that's why I lost, but. You know, I kind of took that fight fast. You know, it was four months post post uh, pregnancy. You know, so my goal was definitely to come back fast, even from the even including the loss. You know, so um, I definitely knew that I was gonna come and make a come back fast. And you know, I was kind of hoping like in 2021, but then the kind of pandemic happened. But actually, I was one of the fighters that got to fight a lot of the times a lot of, during the pandemic. You know, so I'm very fortunate with that. Um, but I think the pandemic kind of slowed down a little bit. Just the the ranking and kind of which fighters were available to fight and you know and and you know who could travel and all these things who had good camps and things like that so uh, maybe it could have been even faster but um, I think we've been going like you know on a really good speed and uh, I don't want to like jinx myself and go too fast you know even um, for this next fight I think if we have like a really good performance we could potentially go for the belt but um, even by winning, but if we see like, okay, maybe I got caught a little bit too many times or something like that, let's have one more fight just to really um, sharpen any things that we need and and be like 100% ready to get the belt because we don't want to get it and then lose it right away. We want to get to the belt and be a, a dominant champion, you know. So definitely my fight next weekend, you know, my first main event, it's going to be uh, really important in my career. I think it's going to be like good, good to see numbers, good to just kind of, People really see my name. It's different. It's different when you're on the card, prelims, or even just the main card. And when you're the actual, like, you know, I'm the last one of the mm -hmm. card to come out, you know? So mm -hmm. it's kind of like my card, you know? I feel like so <laughs> excited. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. It's always a, a lot of excitement. And, you know, for yourself, even when you entered the UFC, you had a lot of attention on you. You know what I mean? It's not like you started off with nobody knowing who you really were. You know, you were known in the jiu-jitsu community far beyond before the UFC. And then now we fast forward it to the 2021 version of yourself. You know, you're nominated for Female Fighter of the Year. It's like polar opposites. Do you feel like it's polar opposites from 2018 to now? A hundred percent, you know, 100%. I think we had like some little things in 2018 that um, was kind of showing my potential. You know, I had, I was in, for the same organization, like nominated uh, one of the best submissions of the year. You know, so like there are things, but... I, I didn't even imagine. I think, like, people who've been around and MMA, and so they saw more the potential in me than me. You know, I was kind of just going into MMA because I was kind of getting bored with jiu-jitsu, you know, I wanted to try something new. Uh, a lot of people were kind of like, man, you'll do good. Let's do it. Like, okay, let's try, you know, and just kind of seeing where I fall in it, seeing if I really liked getting punched in the face or not, you know. Um, and now just like, man, okay, I really kind of found my, my groove in this. I really like it. You know, I'm having fun in there. You know, I'm not like... Ah, oh, I don't want to go into the fight. You know, a lot of people say like they're walking out and they're like, "Man, why did I sign up for this?" And then when they win, they're like, "Yeah, let me get in." You know, I'm like walking out. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited." And so it's really cool. It's just kind of cool to for me to be a representation of jujitsu in an even bigger uh, public and community. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really proud of how far. You know, it it's crazy. You know, because I know. I get I got into MMA like 2018, but for me this is like some like a long road, you know, just of being the best fighter, best athlete I can be, you know, since I'm four, five years old, you know, my first competition, you know. So for me, it's all part of the journey, you know. I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm happy that I'm I'm becoming that athlete, you know. I could have stopped at jiu-jitsu, I could have stopped, um, I don't know, and done something else, but no, like you keep keep finding more motivation, keep coming up with more goals, and I think that's what's so important to be like the best person you can be you know it's constantly coming up with more goals and more objectives and um yeah i'm excited i'm happy to be here i could i didn't imagine i could be nominated for top um best fighter of the year like right now you know i thought maybe when i get the belt but that's really really cool and it's just kind of cool to see like oh dana kind of already saw like hey if she takes it serious you know uh she could be like really a, a big star or something like that so to come from like that person who wasn't making weight kind of just party girl having fun enjoying all the all the attention and things like that to this focused fighter who has like my family support team with me and like man i don't see anything stopping me now yeah you have your whole family your father yeah. you know your your kid and then you know your your husband that's your husband right 
Yeah, yeah, your yeah. husband. Yeah, so yeah. it's like complete family affair with you, right? Are they all going to yeah. be in your corner next time? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of them. It's, Mo actually she took her first COVID test this week yeah. to go, you know? Oh, so okay. it's, yeah, it's crazy, you know? It's like, man, because um, she, she's gone to the hotel with me a couple of times. During the pandemic, she couldn't actually be at the at the stadium, you know, the arena, the apex. But this time she'll want to be there. She won't be in the corner corner, but she'll be like in the 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 benches or whatever they are, you know. So she'll be watching, I'll be hearing her. She's go she goes to sparring with me yesterday. She was at the spar with me like throwing water on the canvas, you know, telling me to like <laughs> get my feet wet so I don't slip, you know. So I'm like, wait, she's just learning awesome. these things. It's crazy, you know, like telling me to breathe. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, that's true. I need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fun yeah those are the best moments in life right there yeah uh -huh. right. i'm like man this is what it's this is what it's about you know for sure so cool. for sure now um you know every fight you know you you come out you you show something different you show development but the most development and we know you're a killer on the ground but on your feet you're boxing you started working with jason perillo that's a you know a big name in the industry now when you first started working with him what did you work on first? Like, what was like when he sat you down for the first couple of weeks and you're like, okay, we need to fix this first or we need to adjust this first. What was it? Yeah, the first thing he did, like I went to go you know, I'm like, man, I hope he wants to like train with me. You know, it's like, man, I left the MMA lab. Uh, I left Black House, you know, so I'm like hoping, you know, this coach Perillo, who's like, you know, famous is like, he'll be willing to train with me. He's not like thinking, oh, great. Mackenzie's like a problem athlete, you know, I'm like, oh, I hope he, you know, wants to work with me. It's like kind of pressure on him like three weeks before my fight. And he like puts me on like the tire, this big tire. And I'm like, that's it, you know, like, like I'm doing what he, what, hey, what he says I'll do. But I'm thinking like, man, I don't like hit the bag or nothing, you know, he like puts me on this tire and I mean he's just getting me like this base you know and then I'm like and now today I'm like man it's just crazy how like he just took me to the basics I never learned like the real basics you know and um how just having like a base for example helps me to like throw a punch and not be like totally off balance to like follow up with more punches or to actually I'd go for a takedown where I'm like leaning over and no balance and you know what I mean so just having like a base for example was like the first thing he got me he was like man you're totally like off you're walking, like, crossing your legs and just falling over. Um, and then once I started to, like, get my base and being able to throw punches and being able to kind of stay balanced, then I start to, like, see things. I'm like, coach, I can, like, see, actually see some openings. I'm like, I think I can throw an uppercut here. He's like, yeah, there you go, you know. So just helping me see in there, not be, like, totally blind and just throwing, you know, haymakers like I used to do, you know. So um, it's really good. He, he's, he's never, like, telling me, okay, uh here turn your fist a little bit 90 degrees that you know what i mean it's nothing like that everything is just very like help helping me become like a fighter and just feeling it and he's like man my goal is just to be in there like not have to say nothing you know because you're just seeing everything and you're you're being you you know and that's really what he's getting me to i'm not i i, I feel like great like i go to sparring and we spar like almost every day and it's fun it's so fun to spar i used to be like oh great it's fine you get like adrenaline you have to like go to the bathroom 10 times you know and now i'm just like okay i was sparring today i'm so excited to try like new things and i watch my spar my rounds and that's even when i don't have a fight when i do have a fight it's even more you know i get even more excited so he's he really helped me fall in love for the sport and make me see a, a mma kind of how i did jiu-jitsu you know and i think that's why i'm getting so much success now this is, will be my fourth fight with perillo and hopefully it'll be four wins straight. So, yeah, I, I definitely see us going to the belt. You know, he's made so many champions. And, um, yeah, and the connection has such a good connection. It's different when your coach is, like, this energy, you know, like, heavy energy. He's just, like, laughing and joking. And, you know, we really get each other. So it's really fun. Is that important for you, you know, with the coach? You know, is that the the personalities don't clash? And it's, it's, it's on the same vibe. And, and, and Jason is good at that. Yeah, exactly. You know, the vibe is, is like, it's honestly like the most important. We were just talking about this this week. We got one guy from the OC Register. He came and took some pictures of us. And one of the pictures is like him doing my hands and we're like laughing or we're laughing so hard, you know. And I, I text him like, yeah, my coach is good at boxing and stuff, but I really just stay with him because of the jokes, you know, like cause it's just such a good vibe, you know. And uh, yeah, it's so important, you know, when you can have a good connection, like, just like be you with your coach and he understands you. It's, it's, it's really good. You know, he, he understands like, Hey, I love this. I want to be the champ, you know, but it's like my family's first, 
for me, it's priority, you know, and on top of anything. And I think that's what makes me focus so much on it is because my family's priority. So I'm trying to do everything, that, everything the best I can for them. And he totally gets that, you know, and that's what's really good. Now with striking and boxing, there's like the footwork and you mentioned the balancing and positioning stance, head movement combinations, power shots. Those are so many things. What has come easiest for you working with him? Um, I think it's what's come in easiest with him is just, um, well, I, I think like my movement, you know, I haven't really been able to show it, you know, cause we've been, uh, gone to the ground so much in the, in my last fights. Um, but just being like my footwork, being able to move and before people would be like, Oh, like, well, since I came to him, he would like kind of, I'd be trying to move when I was like getting punched or something like that. And me like moving around the ring would, or the cage would get me tired. You know, I'd be getting so tired. Like I just wanted to be like, stop and let the punches come and try and like hold on. And now I can like move and I'm like resting during that time, you know, and I, I learned how to breathe and, oh, I'm not even using energy moving around and I can punch off of the movement. So definitely I think the footwork and, you know, you see like Rose and Zhang Wei Li and how they can just float kind of on the, on the octagon, you know, and I'm, not that I'm, you know, there yet. I don't, I don't, I don't really know how to look at myself, but I definitely feel like I'm getting to that, and I can really move. And when I, when the, um, when the situation comes that I need to show it, a hundred percent, I'll be ready and I'll be feeling good. You know, thankfully I haven't had to. I, my jiu jitsu has yeah. been been on point, so I can get the takedown. But when I, if it, if I can't get the takedown, I'll be so excited to be able people to see that because we've been working a lot of that, and I think that's the thing that I'm mostly caught on to. I I read. <laughs> the article you wrote for women's health about, mm -hmm. you know, after your first fight back from pregnancy and you said you added a lot of functional training and, and movement drills to improve your speed and your reaction time. How has that translated over to your striking and even maybe your, your takedowns? Yeah. I mean, it was definitely, definitely different because my whole life I've always lived like weights and things like that, you know? So, um, as soon as I came back from the pregnancy to start kind of with, you know, I'm doing like water bag things. It was different for me. I was like, man, but this is going to make me strong, you know, but um, it's just your body goes through so such a change, you know, so it's just kind of getting everything, you know, responding and back to doing movements that I stayed more than nine months not doing, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't throwing punches. I was like so happy being pregnant. I'm just like on the beach, you know, like, ah, oh, take my mind off the gym, you know, so um, getting back to like, Oh yeah, that's what it feels like to throw a punch and kind of have resistance and the impact and all that stuff. So uh, it was so important. I think uh, I really got my muscles firing and stuff like that uh, just to get a little, get a little bit faster. But now today, it's I'm so ha happy. I'm kind of back to um, the weightlifting and just kind of getting more um, power off of that speed that I had gained in the beginning. You know, so I'm glad I didn't focus so much. Uh, right away like oh to try and lift weights and do those things because now I have Rogério Camões he's my strength trainer he'll be my corner to this fight um he's worked with Anderson Silva Jacare Souza you know so many people and yeah I think now it's kind of took me to the next level so I think the functional was really important to get me um prepared and just not have any injuries at that time but now I'm really like champ level you know like okay we're fit we're ready to go 10 rounds if we need to go and um, just to have more power off those punches you know it's like instead of using all my weight it's just okay one technique good technique will have like uh, the power I need so I'm excited I'm, I'm I think everything happened at the right time it's a good mix it's like the cake you know you need to live a little bit here salt sugar flour you know um, so yeah I think we're starting to get to the final final cake whatever <laughs> the final topping right yeah. yeah yeah october 9th you know marina rodriguez main event in las vegas you know a lot of people looked at the the nina nunez fight as like a striker versus grappler do you look at this fight as in the same way yeah i think even even more you know I, like you said a lot of people say like oh nina um striker versus grappler you know but nina had like she has some background with um ground you know i think she has more background than than marina does uh, Marina's like hardcore, you know, like Muay Thai, like clinch and elbows and kind of short distance. And Nina's a little bit more kickboxing, like a little bit more on the end of the punches. So this is like definitely uh, like next level striker versus grappler, you know. But I think the I think this is a great fight for me, you know. As a as a grappler, I prefer to fight a hundred percent striker than that girl that 
is like 50% striking, but she has some ground too, you know, that's always like a little bit harder because she kind of knows what she's doing on the ground. Um, from all the fights I've seen in Marina, um, definitely her heart, her harder rounds, her harder fights have been when she's on the ground, you know, and almost everyone, even the fight she's won, she's been taking his ground at least once, you know, even like by Karate Hottie, who's a karate specialist, you know, took her to the ground and around, you know, so I think that's the way to go. I definitely don't want to be like trying to show my showcase my striking with her right now. Um, but if I if I have to, if she has like good um, ground defense or something like that, I'm ready to go all five rounds standing up too, you know. So I'm definitely excited for this fight. I think it's a good matchup. And man, she's, she's I'm number four. She's number five or six. I'm not sure. But yeah. uh, man, she has more fights than me. She has more wins than me. She has more fights in the UFC. So uh, she's older. So, um, she, in my mind, she has way more experience than me. You know, I think I, you can't really understand too much of the rankings. You know, sometimes it's a little crazy. But for me, I'm I'm number four because of, like, I fought, I beat someone in top five. I come with four straight wins, you know, and submissions and stuff like that. But uh, she definitely has the more experience and wins and fights like that. So, it's, it's kind of crazy, you know, how this will be a matchup. I I'm excited to see, like, okay, will she bring this? Ex- will she have something about her experience that will surprise me, or will I just be able to take her to the ground and submit fast? You know, so <laughs> I'm excited to see what will go down in this fight if there will be any surprises or things like that. For sure, and and you you mentioned the mentality of like you rather face a striker since you're such a great grappler. When you look at the the top of the division, most of them are strikers. So you, you, yeah. you, what do you see? You see a very good path for yourself then to the title. Yeah, def- yeah, yeah. I definitely feel, I definitely feel good, you know, being like the strongest representative of jiu-jitsu in, in women's MMA. You know, I definitely feel like, and I think that's kind of what um, was a little bit crazy about my beginning, but I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm happy that I did kind of get that out of the way in the beginning of my UFC career, kind of like banging it out and feeling what it's like to be, you know, standing up and throwing punches and getting punched um, in the beginning because, I mean, like in the beginning, you're kind of fighting opponents that aren't ranked yet and stuff like that. So it's kind of the time to make mistakes, you know, and as you get higher in the ranks, you can't make mistakes, you know. So now I kind of got that out of the way and I'm like, okay, I'm seeing that the, the you know, man, you can't, like, I can even bit win striking, but, man, the, the jiu-jitsu, it's like, that's the way to win. That's the way to beat these girls because, man, that's my strength, but, like, my a big strength, you know, not, like, a little strength because they're all kind of beating each other by the striking and stuff like that, and I'm just trying to get through the side, like, by yeah. no injuries, no broken nut, just kind of choking, armbar, and that's it, and tap, and that's it, you know? So I definitely see that as being kind of the way to get to the belt. Uh, I know Rose has been, like, working, He'll, I, you know, because I've been following her ever since the house, you know, the Ultimate Fighter house, and I just see her invol- her evolving as an athlete, like, all around, you know. Uh, she has, like, some flying arm bars or flying triangles, things like that, you know. I think, so I think definitely Rose is one of the girls that has kind of a little bit um, courage, you know, to, to play on the ground and things like that. But, yeah, like you said, you know, I definitely think that my jiu is going to, is what's going to take me all the way to the, to the belt. Do you feel like, you know, when you're watching like someone like Valentina Shevchenko reigning the flyweight division with her striking and then showing her ground when she needs to, do you see it kind of like in reverse for yourself? Like you want to accomplish something what she's doing right now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. Like, you know, take take my ground as much as I can go, you know, but I know that eventually I'll fight someone who's going to have like good, you know, really good takedown defense, you know, and, and even just like if you get down, but get back up. And I think... Once my hands are to that point, you know, I know at the right time they'll be ready. Um, it'll be a surprise to everyone, you know, because no one, no matter what, no one's going to think about my hands, you know. They can even say, oh, she hits hard or something, you know, but always my ground will be the, you know, what everyone's worried about, you know. So I think yeah. um, I think some knockouts will come eventually, and, and I'm excited. And who knows, maybe go up to flyweight, too, and say hello there to, <laughs> to the guy or to the girls at flyweight, too. But um, one step at a time, one step at a time, for sure. For sure. Say sure. hello, of course, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> you you know, you've been predicting that you, you want to get a first round submission victory. You know, do you, you know, you don't plan on testing your boxing? Of course, I think you do, right? Against somebody at that level of striking. Uh, as Marina? Or... Yeah, as Marina. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I she's not the one that I'm, co- I'm coming out to like, oh, 
Uh, let me let me get in some some of my shots too. You know, I seen her right hand. She has like a win over Amanda Ribas, who was my only loss. You know, with her hands. You know, so uh, yeah. I mean, I want to try to get one more fight in this year. You know, so definitely don't want to take too much damage. You know, even though if I think, hey, I can beat her, even standing up. You know, I don't think that's that's what I want to risk because all it needs is one to to get in. You know, one to get the right spot and the fight's over. You know, so I definitely prefer take her on the ground, get her tired. She's kind of like a slow starter, you know. She, she she looks like she studies a lot in the first, just kind of seeing openings, like that striker style, you know, like really looking for openings and things like that. So, um, yeah, I don't want to give her time, you know. I don't want to give her, you know, you know, be close rounds and give her the fifth round to, like, come out and kind of like a, like a bowl and try and run me. I want to I wanna be able to put the pressure from the first and keep that pressure all the way to the end if I need to, you know, but I definitely want to, I, I don't know, I think I can put pressure from the beginning all the way to the end, you know, so and seeing her kind of slow, start out slow, um, and then she kind of brings it out in the last round, uh, I definitely, and I definitely think she'll get more tired on the ground, you know, usually who isn't from the ground, they get really tired on the ground, you know, so yeah, I def- the plan isn't to go and, strike <laughs> and show my, my strikes with her, you know. You know, you go in there, let's say you finish Marina Rodriguez first round, do you feel like that would justify a title shot for you next? You said you want to fight one more time this year, but you know, with with the uh, Rose and Wei Lee fighting, I don't think the timeline would match, right? So, if you yeah. do, would you wait or? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to fight someone like behind me in the rankings or something like that, you know. Uh, and it depends. Just like Rose, she's not like the most. Uh, like she's not the the champ that fights like the most times in the year, you know. She 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 like she kind of takes her time, you know. So if she wins, I don't know how soon she she would want to fight, you know. Um, and yeah, just kind of my my whole career since like LFA Legacy Invicta, I've always been better, just kind of going, 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 you know, and learning and taking advantage of that. So I I definitely. If they don't mind, like, okay, let's say, like, March or something, I, I'd wait, you know. But if it's, like, oh, June, July, i definitely try and get another fight in, you know. I don't know, Carlos Spires or maybe who loses the fight, or I don't know, Joanne or, or whoever, you know, someone who's in front of me. But, yeah, we'll see, you know. We'll see what happens. For sure. You have to you have to wait, especially with how the world is right now. And like you said earlier in the interview, travel limitations and everything going on. But one thing's for sure. October 9th, you will be stepping in as the main event against Marina Rodriguez. Mackenzie, thank you so much for the time. It's always it's always great <laughs> speaking with you. Such good yeah. vibes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Like you said, it's always fun. Like, always, like, talking about crazy stuff. So that's fun. You know, it's really cool. So thank you so much for the time. And, yeah, October 9th, let's do it. <laughs>